As a kid, I was, for the most part, as quiet as a church mouse. I didn't want to cause a stir, create a ruckus. That was then. My grandson is two, and he's learning how to use his voice. He's experimenting with language. You can see his sweet vulnerability as he pauses to think, earnestly trying to find the word, speaking from his heart. It doesn't always come out right, but it doesn't have to. When I was younger and I was nervous about speaking up and I felt it was important, I could sometimes do it if it was for something else or someone else, some cause I believed in or if I felt I needed to protect someone, anything I deemed worthy, and I didn't often fall into that category. Today I found my worthiness and my voice. I like to think that I've gone from church mouse to lion heart, brave and determined. Notice I didn't say fearless. There's that saying, speak even if your voice shakes. My voice still shakes sometimes. I'm vulnerable. I think that if your voice is shaking, that maybe what you have to say is important and could inspire change. If you look around, we need that. You don't have to be perfect. Just pause and think. Take one step. Use whatever platform you have and show your heart. A vote is a voice. Use your voice. Use your vote. I'm making up for lost time. I'm still in church, but I've ousted my mouth. I'm doing my best to love my neighbor as myself without forgetting myself in that equation. I'm worthy. You're worthy. We always have been. With our voice, with our vote, Let's make like a lion and roar, brave and determined.